Sa so, mga pagpalayang gabi po sa inyong lahat, mga kaibigan, ako po si Waldi Carbonell, ang Kawal ng Demokrasya. Good evening everyone, my name is Waldi Carbonell. I have originally prepared for this day as a debate with Mr. Duterte in the light of his zona or state of the nation address or barring that in proxy with any of his substitute like Attorney Panelo who was a video okay friend of mine before the Holocaust or Attorney Roque who according to my son Attorney Walden Carbonell was a bright law professor of UP for the West Philippine Sea issue or Teddy Luxin Jr who was my fellow Dilawan during chorus time. I am not a big name nor a big man in Philippine society. I am just a Filipino journalist, a tax-paying journalist, but nonetheless offering to be of help to our President Duterte right now. After the sauna, I was watching the sauna, I felt a bucket full of pity because he admitted being inutile or in Tagalog or in English that's useless, dysfunctional, non-serviceable, or simply a useless piece of humanity. So I thought that what he had said embarrassed our country no end, and I am here to help him rectify it. I am here to help him fight for it. I am here to offer him help. Yung pong pagsasabi niya na wala na siyang pakinabang at wala siyang kalaban-laban sa China ay hindi po dapat natin tanggapin kung kinakailangan po tayo magsinungaling, kung kinakailangan po tayo mag-bluff, kinakailangan mag-bluff po tayo sabihin natin, kaya natin to. Because this is our country. It is our only country. Let me go back to my not being a big man. Not being a big man means I am not a member of any group. There's no backer for me. I am not a party man. I am not part of the uh, one. I am not part of the Liberal Party or any other political party. I am not propped up by any fraternity, not even our uh, integrated Grand Lodge of the Philippines of free and accepted mission. I am not representing them. I am only wearing sometimes the emblem of the mission because I am a mission. I am also wearing the cap of a Muslim because I am a convert Muslim. I am a Balik Islam. Other than that, I am not a big name. Hindi po ako malaking pangalan. I am only tall. In fact, that is just my description because of my height. I am not a big man in Philippine society. I am only born tall, dark, and according to some of the all the girls I've loved before, sometimes charming. Anyway, my purpose for coming up with this uh, Facebook Live uh, appeal tonight is for unity. Let us start transcending the petty inanities of our differences as a people or as a party fanatic or plain and simple fanatics of Mr. Duterte. Let us unite once and for all. We do not have to treat anybody with labels of their colors that like they are De La Juan or Yellow Tards or Dotter Tards, the retarded, uh, retarded uh, followers of Duterte. We don't have to label anybody that way anymore. I am not here to wage war against the trolls. They are not worthy of my time. They are not my level. They are not uh, deserving of my concern, of my attention. But I want to be deserving of their friendship, of their unity. Because right now, I am calling for a united front against one big enemy, which is the Communist Party of China. We are being invaded and we have to do something about it. If we have to bluff, we have to lie, kung kinakailan po tayo magsinungaling, so be it. 
Let us lie for our honor. Let us bluff for our strength. Let us come up strong. You know, when I was uh, granted a Fulbright scholarship by America during Marcos' time, I accepted it because it was the only way to get out of the fortress of martial law. Martial law was one of the most cruel, merciless times in Philippine history, and the author of that is none other than Ferdinand Idralin Marcos. The diehard Marcos loyalists may not like me for this, but I don't care. The truth is the truth. When I was there as a Fulbright scholar of Johns Hopkins University, being an oddity, meaning pambihira, pambihira, oddity because most of the journalists have been jailed, most of the journalists have been clamped down, most all of the uh, media organizations were shut down by Mr. Marcos, and here I was in America uh, walking freely as if I did not come from a martial law country. I became an uh, incidental guest of Mr. Dom Reyes of the National Press Club of America, and I was made to speak. And because I was uh, a Filipino, and I would want still to fight for the dignity of my country, I was asked, hey, Mr. Carbonell. And I said, yes, my fellow journalists of America, how come that you are now free here in America where you should be clamped down in martial law a detention cell? I said I was able to get out of my country because I was given a scholarship, a grant, by a Fulbright uh, program of the Department of State. Will you be going back to the Philippines? Of course, it's the only country I have. I will be going back there. You'll be going back there and you will not have any freedom anymore. I said the mere fact that I have been here in the States it speaks that I have been free to travel and the mere fact that I am now speaking for you means that I, uh, I have the freedom to speak. And they said, no, I think you are just trying to be nice. I think you're trying to be polite. I think this uh, journalist from Associated uh, Press of America said, I think you are just trying to cover up for the ugly realities of press freedom in your country. I said, I wish I could join you down there, but I am up here answering your, your questions. So you have to contend with my answer. And he said, you have to contend with just one question. If you are free, can you exercise the freedom that we have here? I said, what freedom can you enjoy without me enjoying it? He said, in our country, we can go to the White House. We can go to the White House and say, Mr. Nixon, you are no good. Can you do that in your country? I said, easily. Honestly, I can do it also. You can do that? What is your White House there? I said, it is called Malacanang Palace. This means that when I come back, I can go to Malacanang Palace and also exercise that freedom. I can go to Malacanang Palace and declare, Mr. Nixon, you are no good. And they all clap. That means that I have tried my best to cover up for the very embarrassing situation in our land during martial law. Now, I want to cover up for Mr. Duterte's admission that he is an inutile or useless, and I want to help him. Kawawa naman, he's very uh, pathetic. I want to help him. Me, Oswaldo Carbonell, or Waldi Carbonell, who have been labeled as a nemesis of Mr. Duterte, I'm now offering him a peace pipe. I'm opening my hand to help help rectify the honor of the Philippines. We must not appear to be helpless. We must not appear or admit that we are inutile because we are not. No, Mr. President, you are not inutile. No, Mr. President, we are not inutile. No, Mr. China, Mr. Xi Jinping, we are not inutile. No, Mr. Xi Jinping, we will fight you. Look at this face. Look at my car. You want to blow that up? Do so. I challenge you. I am not afraid of you, Mr. Xi Jinping. In fact, 
I have gone to your embassy, burned your flag, and gave you the finger. I normally do not do that because I'm a polite man. I am a civilized man. I am not the president of the Republic of the Philippines, so I do not flip my fingers easily. But now, I am giving my all and conditional offer to help Mr. Duterte restore freedom, respect, and sovereignty and honor of this country called the Philippines. In this, uh, if this country is not helped, we are in a very ludicrous position. We are practically letting our country cascade down to the pathways of perdition and ignominy. We as a people must liberate ourselves from this morass of apathy and indifference, from this morass of dishonor and surrender. Magsama-sama na po tayo. Kayo mga trolls, hindi na po tayo kinakailan mag-away. Ako inaaway ninyo sa likuran ko, okay lang. Sana na ako yan. That is the culture of the Filipino. Matagal na pong ganyan yan. Sa tuwing ako po'y nagpupunta sa Amerika, winawardingan ako ng ating mga kababayan doon. Huwag ka magtitiwala sa mga Pilipino. Isusumbong ka niyan sa Bureau of Immigration. Huwag kang magbibigay ng iyong mga data kasi baka kanila isuplong. Babayaran sila. Ikaw ay idideport. Again, because of this culture, now we have the DDS. I'm used to it. Filipinos are Filipinos are Filipinos. Matagal na po yan. Ang ating po mga bayani noong araw, ang pumatay kay Rizal, mga Pilipino rin, wala nagtanggol, wala nagrally, sapagkat noong araw siguro, akala nila may COVID din, bawal na bawal yung pong magrally ng wala pong face mask. Kaya pinatay si Rizal, wala pong nagrally ng Pilipino. Bakit? Sapagkat sila'y Pilipino. Noong pinatay si Bonifacio, ang pumatay, mga katipunero, tagakabite, sa utos ni Aguinaldo, wala pong nagrally, walang nagsilabu, walang nagkawal, walang nagkomentaryo. Nung pinatay po si Antonio Luna, General Antonio Luna, dahilan sa kanya pakipaglaban sa mga Amerikano, pinatay po siya ng patraidor ng mga katipunero from Kawit Cavite sa utos pa rin ng isa pang tagakawit Cavite na general. Matagal na po na ganyan ang ating pong kultura at nung panahon po ng hapon, pagka ikaw ay isang uh, guerrilla, meron pong magtuturo sa iyo, Pilipino, para ikaw ay pugutan ng ulo ng mga hapon, ang tawag po dyan ay makapili. Ngayon, ang tawag po dyan ay DDS. Pero wag na po tayo mag-away-away mga DDS. You do not deserve my attention, but I deserve your friendship. I deserve your cooperation. Magkaisa na tayo. Kayo na mga NPA, New People's Army, tinatawagan ko kayo, magkaisa na tayo. Kayo na MILF, uh, Brother Lur Miswari, if you're listening to me now, I, Haji Walid Waldi Carbonell, is calling upon you to get in touch with me we will form a solid front against China. I am organizing the Kawan and Democracia support group. Let us build our own force. Tulungan natin si Duterte labanan ng China. Tulungan natin ang ating kababayan na huwag masakot ng China. At tayo lamang ang pag-asa niyan. Ang mga Amerikano, hindi po tayo, hindi po makikipag-gera yan para sa atin. I do not believe that America or China will war in its other for the sake of a small country like the Philippines when they can do a very minor thing by just trying to to uh, downgrade or uh, control the leadership of the Philippines. No, we cannot be controlled. No, we must not be controlled. We must not fail. We cannot fail because if we do, we may not rise up again. Now let's go to the mechanics. Why are we trying to form this? We are trying to form this because ako po ay lalaban na, tayo po ay lalaban na. Hindi po ako isang leader, wala po kong rank. I am not a general, I am not a senator, and I am proud of it. I am not a congressman. I am not part of that seven traitorous crocodiles in Congress that voted down 
press freedom by clamping down on ABS-CBN. I am not one of the senators who voted for the anti-terror bill, which design runs counter against the Philippine Constitution, specifically in the provisions of uh, civil rights. No, I am not a governor. I am not an elected public official. Hindi po ako kandidato. I am not gunning for any public for any elective official because I do not respect the electoral system in this country. It is one of the most ridiculous, the most corrupt system of selecting our most corrupt, inept, incompetent, and traitorous officials of this country. Otherwise, if we are honorable as a people, as an electorate, how can we afford to have uh, senators like Christopher Bongo? How can we afford to have Criminals, oh, mark, mark my word, baka po i-demanda tayo niya para po yung pag-demanda kay Risa. I am repeating it again. Criminals like Ronald Bato de la Rosa to run and win as a senator. How can we have the likes of Bong Revilla, a thief, a corrupt man par excellence, one of the worst, Senators that I ever lived in our country, together with his revered father, who was my friend, useless elective officials, but nonetheless, they were elected because of this kind of system where we have a smartmatic, where we have uh, this kind of system which, according to uh, Vince Flynn and Frederick Forsyth, by having an automatic or computerized election, it is very easy for any imperialist powers that be to steal the elections. No, I am here talking not because I want to be popular. I am here talking not because I want to be notorious. I am here talking because I am a Filipino and we must protect the honor of this country. This is the only country we have and we have to do something about it. Magsama-sama po tayo. Huwag po natin pinang... Bakit po tayo nagagalit sa NPA? Ang tagal-tagal na yan kung talaga pong magagaling at maganda ang pamamalakad ng gobyerno. Tagal yung NPA. Bakit po nagtatagal ang NPA? For as long as there is social injustice in this country, habang hindi po pantay ang ating pulipunan, hindi po mawawala yung bagong hukbong bayan or new people's army. Eh bakit po natin kinukundi na yan? Nagagalit tayo? Hindi natin alam anong krimen? Hindi ako naniniwala na yung mga NPA nag, uh, nag-aambus ng mga magbibigay ng ayuda. No! Hindi po tayo naniniwala dyan. Sapagkat ang mga barangay, kaya po sila sumasang-ayon sa mga NPA. Sapagkat ang tingin nila dyan, mga bayani, they look up to the New People's Army as their heroes. And I, Walt de Carbonell, also take my hats off to the lowest cadre or lowest soldier of the New People's Army, better and more respectful than the highest general like Agbayalde, Sinas, or De La Rosa, or Senator De La Rosa. Yan po paninindigan ko. Kaya magsama-sama na tayo. Hindi po natin kaaway ang NPA. Hindi natin kaaway MILF. Hindi natin kaaway MNLF. I am calling all of you, let us unite. Yung mga dilawan, a silent majority, be silent no more. Let us come together. You get my number, I will coordinate. I will be the convener of this Kawal and Demokrasya support group. What do we do? We do not declare war against China. We only declare our stand that we will go to war if we are attacked. Kaya po nakabaliktad ang bandera ko. Hindi ko nagdideklara sa China na gera. Eh, ano pong laban ko? Pisto lamang ang dala ko. Lisensyado naman. Pero, pagka sila ay maglulusob sa atin, pagka sila ay papagpatuloy nila yung POGO activities, pag ipapagpatuloy nila yung pagpasok dito ng mga People's Liberation Army, abay magsama-sama po tayo. Hindi ko kaya yan na nag-iisa. Tawagan po ninyo ako, sikreto. Gagawa tayo ng sariling grupo. One, we must unite. Let us come up with that uh, Article uh, Republic Act 6735, People's Initiative, 
Labanan po natin yan. Let us draw the line. Let us declare civilians of diplomatic relations with China. Bakit? Bakit natin pinuputol ang ating ugnayan sa kanila? Sapagkat tayo ay tinatampalasan sapagkat sinasakop ang ating pong West Philippine Sea sapagkat binabangga at binabawalan ang ating mga mga maging isda. Sobra na po yan. Pinapasok po ang ating kalunsuran sa pamamagitan ng Pogo. We have to deport them. If your Bureau of Immigration cannot deport them, we, the Kawal and Democracy Support Group, will pick them up and kick them out of this country at the airport. Magtulong-tulong po tayo dyan. Kaya natin to. Hindi po tayo naniniwala na basta nalaman tayo magsasabing, eh, inutil ako eh. Hindi po totoo yan, Mr. President. You are not inutil, Mr. President. We only have to stand up and be honorable for once in your life. Magpakatino po tayo. At tutulungan ko kayo. Magpakatino kayo. Labanan nyo ang China. Ako, tutulong sa inyo kahit ako ipulaan ng ating pong mga nagsasabing humahanga daw sila sa akin, sa akin prinsipyo. Hindi kawalan ng prinsipyo na ating po isang tabi. Ito po mga petty inanities. We have to transcend those petty inanities, those uh, ridiculous divisive differences that we have. Medyo umangat po tayo ng konti dyan. Masyado na po yung mga chismisa na yan. Sira na sira, nakakadiri. Ito mga trolls, tumigil na po kayo. Magtulungan na tayo. Pareho yan, meron po akong isang kamag-anak. Yung isang kamag-anak ko, yung uh, kanyang asawa, nagkaroon ng boyfriend, itinakas siya papuntang tundo. Abay, wala po siya matakbuhan, kundi ako nung ako po ay kunsihal ng General Santos City. Abay, nagwala po ko, tinanap ko yung, yung nagtakas doon po sa asawa ng akin pong kamag-anak na yan. Yung kamag-anak ko, sabi niya, hindi kita malilimutan Uh, Kawaldi, Kuya Waldi, hindi kita malilimutan yung ginawa mo na yan para sa akin na binawi mo ang aking asawa, na nilabanan mo yung taga-tundo, na checker ng, uh, ng uh, mga pelikula dito sa Davao, nag-uwi na sa tundo, binawi mo ang aking asawa, hindi kita malilimutan. At kasama mo ko sa laban na yan. Loblog ko, hindi ko naman laban yun, laban niya naman yun. Ngayon, Ako'y napapalaban dito kay Duterte. Abay, sinisiraan pa ako. Eh, ganyan po talaga Pilipino eh. Hindi ba rin walang utang na loob, pero mag invento ng mga kababalaghan para kampihan ang China. That to me is unforgivable. That to me must be exposed. And if you do not, my relative, if you do not stop those nonsense, I will name you as one of the culprits, as one of the traitors against our country's interest. At sasabihin ko, na ikaw ay walang utang na loob, binawi ko ang asawa mo, tinirurize ko, inaway ko yung tagatundo na boyfriend niya, sinabi mo, ang laki ng utang na loob mo sa akin, tapos titirahin mo ko sapagkat ikaw ay DDS, nakakadiri. But anyway, this is being a Filipino, and we have to stop this. We have to rise up with honor. We have to change immediately. This is my State of the Nation address to you. We have to regain our honor. We are not inutile. We have to join hands. This COVID pandemic is invented by China and aided by uh, an American professor from Boston University. Hinuli na po nila ito. At yan po ngayon ay nakakulong sa Amerika. At ito po inimbento lamang. At ang kasalanan po natin, pinapayagan natin pumasok dito yung mga taga Wuhan, China sapagkat di umano, kaibigan ng ating bansa. Abay, dapat ang loyalty natin, ang kaibigan natin ay mga Pilipino. Hindi po dapat mga Pilipino magdudusa. Hindi dapat Pilipino ang ginagawang terorista. Hindi dapat Pilipino ang kanila pong inaaway. Hindi dapat Pilipino ang kanila niloloko. At ngayon, lolokoy na naman tayo sa pamamagitan ng itong charter change or cha-cha. Bueno, Magsasama-sama po tayo, uumpisahan ko po ang paglaban diyan, samahan ninyo ko. Ito po ang aking telephone number. Sabi po ng aking isang anak, huwag mo ibibigay telephone number mo. Yan ay madali nilang, madali nilang matuntun. Eh kung hindi nila ako matutuntun, eh bibigay ko pa rin. Hindi baling ako ang mapahamak, huwag lamang ating bansa. 
Ito po ang telephone number ko. Pag lamang ninyo ibibigay po sa chicks, ha? Facebook na lang. Oh, ito po. 0-927-738-6913. Ayan, tumawag po kayo. Tumawag po kayo sa akin, mag-text kayo pa sekreto, at tayo po'y mag-uugnayan. I am forming the support group for Kawal and Demokrasya in order to fight this Chinese, in order to fight this uh, cha-cha, in order to help severe the diplomatic ties we have with the traitorous enemy of uh, the People's Republic of China. Pagtulong-tulungan po natin yan. Ayan po ang aking telepono. Sikreto lamang. Tawagan nyo ko, mag-text kayo. Hindi ko po ililist ang pangalan nyo kahit saan. At pag-iingatan po natin ito sapagkat napakarami pong traidor na Pilipino, traidor sa ating bansa. But that is the reality. I wish I can apologize for that statement, but I cannot. I cannot, I do not apologize for the truth. Again, I am Waldi Carboner. I am Kawal and Demokrasya, or in English, Defender of Democracy. Allahu Akbar, in English, God is great. <laughs>